Yo, what's poppin' guys? It's your boy Crooks the Great back at you guys with another banger of a video. And today we're gonna be doing something a little bit special. We're gonna be doing the Ben Askren Striking Only Challenge. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that I love to use Ben Askren, just boxing only. So I issue out a challenge to all of the content creators to only use Ben Askren striking. No takedowns, no takedown feints. No leg kicks, no clinches, unless you absolutely have to. Just straight striking with Ben Askren. So here you can already see we're going up against RDA. He's already knocked me down right here. He head kicked me to start off the round and got some heavy damage off. Now what makes this challenge so tough is that Ben Askren has terrible striking stats. I believe he only has like an 88 power with like an 89 punch speed. But his boxing combinations are actually pretty decent. Uh, I believe he has level 3 boxing combinations, which ironically, or really honestly, is really, really surprising. Because he has better boxing combinations than Anthony Pettis. Which I don't agree with in the game, but <clears throat> it is what it is. <clears throat> so you see here, we're just standing in the pocket trading with RDA. Now this matchup is a little bit easier just because RDA doesn't have very good punching power in Walter Way either. So we're just trying to stay in the pocket as much as possible. Try to time something out. He's trying to catch me with a hook. So he might try to start back slipping that. Popping out that jab. Nice body kick right there by him. Just trying to control the center of the octagon. and Just stand still. Maybe catch him with a combination as he's coming closer to us. So we slipped the uppercut. But we're not able to get any damage off. And that's the other thing. Ben Askren has terrible head movement stats too. So it makes for a really, really tough time if you're just trying to strike with him. See, so we're trying to break down that block just a little bit. But this guy's doing a good job of moving backwards when he needs to. There's the spinning elbow. Tries to hit us with a head kick. We come back with a nice two-piece to the body, then to the head. Catch him with a good four-piece right there into the block. So now we're starting to find our rhythm just a little bit more. Just taking our time, not trying to rush anything, because we realize, I do realize that at some point, I am going to land a heavy damaging shot on this guy. So I just need to take my time. Double jabbing, hit him with a good three-piece. He's still spinning back fists us right there. So we just need to be careful. Nice hook right there. He's launching off three or four of them. But the reason why you guys don't see me back slipping those is because it's, it's extremely hard to try to pull counter. Uh, with Ben Askren just because you have to be your movement has to be pinpoint accurate because if not you're going to get caught now he's launching off knees good hook right there by him nice three piece into the block right there by us good there's that spinning back fist rocks us for the third time in the round we're still trying to fire back good body kick just double jabbing closing the closing the distance just taking our time Oh, he is throwing spinning elbows. It's so hard to, to differentiate between the spinning elbows and spinning back fists. And that's the end of the first round. We did get rocked three times in that round. So that is not good for the chin health of Ben Askren because he does not have good chin health either. So we're going to try to change up the rhythm and get some damaging strikes off here in this second round. We touch gloves in the show of respect and we're back underway. There we catch him immediately with a two-piece. Hurt him, double jabbing into that block, backing him up. Now you see he's in orthodox. We catch him with a good lead hook. We're not going to jump on him right there. We're going to let him get back up. Smother him up against the cage. Now, this is really where we want him to be at, but we need to be careful of that spinning elbow. Good knee timing right there by him. There's a spinning elbow again. He switches back to southpaw, which is smart on his part. Just taking our time, not trying to rush the finish because we do realize we're using Ben Askren. There we pull counter, but not with... The timing that we needed. Just taking our time. Breaking down the block. Catch him with a good three-piece. Knock him down right there. And we have him in all sorts of trouble. And now I can feel the momentum just shifting in our favor. But we still need to be careful of those knees and that spinning elbow. Because we get rocked right there. Off of the spinning elbow. Goes with the flying knee twice. But we're not ducking into that. We slip the knee right there. Double jab into a straight. He catches us with a spinning elbow again right there. There we hit him with the uppercut off of the bad timing of the kick that he threw. We're not jumping on him though. Just pressing the pace. There we pull counter that. Catch him with the uppercut. Block breaking him right there. 
Now he's in all sorts of trouble right here, but we're not we're not going for the ground finish. We're not gonna go for the ground finish. We're gonna try to get him out on the feet. Just taking our time, block break him right there, and that combination got the job done. Too much damage is too short of time, but we did get the dub with Ben Askren in the first fight of the video. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the second fight that we do have for you guys here on the video. Now, here we are, guys. We are going up against a Jorge Masvidal here in the second fight. Now, this fight is going to be a little bit more challenging because Jorge has his power is ridiculous. Even though he's a four star, he still has very, very good hand speed, very, very good hand power, and he's and he's ridiculously powerful too in this weight class so we're gonna try to do what we did to rda but take a little less damage but the first thing that i noticed is that this guy is gonna let me back him up to the cage and he's gonna try to throw a spinning back kick to the body and there's another there's a switch kick to the body so we could potentially get a counter off with an overhand if we can bait one of those out like we do right there catch him with a good straight into a lead body hook but he fires back but i see him accepting position on the outer part of the octagon which could really play into our advantage if we're able to close the distance with the jab so here we're just trying to control him there catch him again off of the miss kick just staying patient miss on the one two but we're just letting him know that we are going to throw so the advantage to using Ben Askren in this challenge is that a lot of people, when they see you use Ben Askren, they're going to think that you're going to go for a takedown as we get a nice knockdown right there, rip down to the body. So I'm pretty sure that's what this guy is probably anticipating is that at some point we're going to shoot for a takedown. But we did get that knockdown, so we do have a little bit of momentum, but we're still not rushing anything. We're taking our time with Ben Askren. Jabbing him. Nice body work right there by him into a two-piece up top. Catch him with a good jab straight. Blast him with that straight on the third punch of that combination, but good slip straight right there by him. Keeps us off of him. Catch him with a good jab hook as he threw that leg kick into a spinning back body kick by him. He misses on that body kick again. And you would, you know, if I was him, I would stop throwing that body kick. Are those leg kicks just in general? Because he's eating a lot of damage off of missing those. So there we catch him with a good four piece. He tries to backslip, but there's no strike to backslip. Nice leg kick, but he misses on that one. But we weren't in position to really overhand him. So we're just taking our time. We got the damage that we needed in this round. We just need to try not to put ourselves in a compromising position. Good jab straight into the block right there by him. He misses on that leg kick. We overhand it again for about the fourth time in this round. Now he's bobbleheading just a little bit, double slipping, firing back. But now we're going to press the pace just a little bit more. He realizes we're working the body, so he tries to go with that flying knee. Crack him with a good three-piece right there. Faint to the body just to try to get him to throw an uppercut, but he throws a straight lead hook. Nicely timed combination. Misses right there on a combination. So now we're just taking our time, but we're also you also see us trying to work the body. You also see me trying to work the body in this round just a little bit more than I did in the last fight just because he's blocking his head and I realize Ben Askren has low punching power. So we're trying to get him to lower that block. Nice uppercut timing. And that's going to be the end of the first round. Now we did hurt him multiple times in that first round. So that's exactly the kind of start that we wanted to get in that first round, especially against somebody like Masvidal because at any point Masvidal really can turn the tide and really get the finish with a quickness. So we just... We want to keep on top of the damage when we can. So here we're utilizing the movement of Ben Askren. Good body kick right there by him moving backwards. And we're trying to take our time. Misses on a switch kick. We time out a straight. Nice straight lead hook by him. We're jabbing into that block. Catch him with a good three piece right there. Now I noticed that he's throwing the straight lead uppercut as well. So I, you know, if I can time out a slip off of that, we get some major damage. But we just need to be careful because he's also throwing the straight lead hook. So here we're applying the pressure. Taking our time. Just not absorbing too much damage with Ben Askren. But we're keeping the pressure on him just by walking forward. There he hits us with a nice spinning back body kick. Try to slip straight him. Jabbing into that block. 
Breaking it down just a little bit. Catch him with the uppercut as he was trying to go down to the body and dropped him. Nice straight lead hook combination, though, as we were entering in the pocket. Just taking our time. Because, like I said, Masvidal really can turn the tide at any point. But I can feel this guy just getting a little bit nervous because his output is starting to slow down just a little bit. And you see him throwing those elbows as well. So when people start doing that and they start going for spinning elbows and spinning back fists and stuff like that out of nowhere and they haven't been doing that all fight, chances are you're starting to break them down. They're starting to feel the pressure just a little bit. So you see this guy's not landing very much clean stuff. He's just landing a lot of stuff on my block. So I can feel him just feel him slowly but surely break, breaking. He's trying to get it back, but we hit him with a good jab hook, drop him right there. Now, we have him in a very, very good spot, but he hits us with a spinning back kick. Now, he's on the pressure. Smart. Let's see if he does anything with it. Nope. He allows us to get off the cage, but he hits us with a good hook as we were slipping. Now, we have him. He has us in trouble up, up against the fence, but we're trying to move off laterally. It's taking our time. Not really rushing to get out of there. Now, we're back on the pressure. We're back in the middle of the octagon, and we're pushing him backwards, which is where we had a lot of our success. But look at just how one rock got him almost 25% of our head health gone. So we just need to be careful. There we exchange. Just trying to take our time. We're only going to exchange in the pocket when the frames are in our favor. Which is not right there. So we try to exit out. Good spinning back kick to the body by him. We hit him with a double jab straight. Hurt him. Ripping down to that body. Go the body uppercut lead hook combination. But then he catches us with a good uppercut. Drops us right there with a body body head combination. But he's not going to get into the ground and pound scenario, which is good. And I don't think he's going to want to try to take us down either. And that's just the end of the second round. Very, very bad end of, this, end of that second round. We got rocked twice and dropped once. So we just need to be careful heading into this third round with that chin that Ben Askren has, man. But we're still going to be pressuring him. Pressing him with that double jab. Nice spinning back kick to the body by him. We step out of the pocket just to let our block health go back up. Closing the distance. Fainting off. Now he's back up against the cage. Which is really where we want him to be at. But then he reverses nicely. Now he has us back up against the cage. Ripping down to the body. But we did block that last body hook. Nice spinning back body kick again. Tries to hit the jab straight. There's another two-piece. We're jabbing into that block. It's taking our time. He slipped that jab hook. That was nice. Right there, I didn't mean to shoot for a takedown because I was trying to go for a body shot. But it is what it is. We didn't actually get the takedown. Rip a nice body hook. Now, I see him trying to major lunge off as well. So we're going to start working that body hook just a little bit more. There's a nice four-piece into the block. We catch that knee as he tried to throw it. Fires off as we break. Nice knee timing right there by him. And if you see our body health and our head health are not looking good here in this third round. Not looking good at all. And Ben Askren's movement is already terrible. So as he gets a good body rock right there, that's going to slow us down. Now we just need to be careful. Catch him with a good three-piece. Drop him right there. We're going to reverse cage position right there. We're going to let him go because, like I said, we're not going to work in the clinch unless we absolutely have to. So there a nice major lunge out of the way. Goes to the body, then back up to the head. Good stuff. Double jab into a straight right there by us. Now we have him back up against the cage. Catch him with a good two-piece. Rip down to the body. Just maintaining that pressure by just staying in his face. He's trying to answer back. Catch him with a good straight, but he did hit us with a knee. We're able to sidestep that back body kick. For the first time, hurt him, catching him with a good three-piece, knock him down for the second time in a minute. So this damage is starting to add up, and we're able to get the hook-hook lead uppercut block-breaking combination with Ben Askren, and that was all she wrote. And thank God, because we did not have good head health or good body health, but... That's the last fight of the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button. And like I said, this is a challenge to all YouTube content creators. And when you guys do make this video, make sure to send me a link because I want to check it out. And we might even do some fight breakdowns. 
But until the next video, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Thank you guys for stopping by again. And I will see you guys in the next one.